everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today today I wanted to just do a video that was gonna be about um, hair journeys I guess I should say I was trying to figure out the best way to describe it for you so I'm gonna talk I want to talk about with you and share with you um, just some things and tips and to, just to help you along your journey so I know if you're just starting out with a curly girl method or just simply starting out with transitioning and taking just simply taking better care of your curls um, then I'm, I'm excited for you I am so happy so 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 happy that you have decided to um, just embrace your amazing and beautiful beautiful curls that's the first step is to just take a step back look in the mirror and say you know what I am just going to embrace the curls that I have and what I was born with and I'm gonna rock them I love that I love that so congratulations on that uh, first of all now what I also want to talk about is that there's a lot of information out there on YouTube um, just simply in the internet in general you can google so many different things and it can get super overwhelming um, so what I'm gonna suggest basically is that you need to do what works for you now how do we know what works for us or for ourselves for each individual um, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error it really really will be um, if you're just starting out with transitioning with your curls and I am gonna say first start out with um, budget friendly type brands because you are gonna to want to just buy every product out there uh, because you'll see on social media just so many people will say here try this try that it worked for me I love this that type of thing and so you just immediately want to go out there and buy it I know I was guilty of it as well I must have spent hundreds of dollars um, on curly hair products um, high-end and low-end and um, it, it got pretty overwhelming so um, I definitely would suggest to first decide what you what direction do you want to go so that's the first thing do you want to do the curly girl method now what is that um, if you go to I believe it's naturally curly .com, that website that will give you all the ins and outs as far as the curly girl method um, and just simply it's just a great website in general to always refer back to but the curly girl method are going to be things that uh, products that do you want to stay away from or you want to use only so for example um, you want to stay away from sulfates parabens and silicones um, those are the three main things now the list will kind of go down branch underneath those as well because there's a lot of ingredients down there that ingredients out there that fall under those same categories so you'll have to learn about those ingredients when you're looking at your uh, when you're shopping um, you know in your store or online so if you do want to follow the curly girl method which I do recommend at least you know to start out with um, that's exactly what I did I did start out with the curly girl method and um, I just try to stay away from all those things um, and, <clears throat> sorry and then the next thing is you want to stay away from hot tools now hot tools let's break that down because a lot of people say no hot tools no hot tools really what that means are going to be styling hot tools like flat irons curling irons um, those type of hot tools not, not hot rollers so not necessarily a, a blow dryer so if you do you want to blow dry your hair and I'm guilty of it I do blow dry my hair as well um, use a diffuser that's so important to make sure that it's on low heat or medium heat um, and that so that's gonna be really important now the reason why I hesitated is because some people prefer to air dry so if you want to go 100% no heat whatsoever no tools then you would simply go um, with like maybe a plopping method um, to dry your hair um, or just simply air dry your hair as well I do do that once in a while too um, the next thing I'm going to talk about I want to mention as well is you're gonna have some bad hair days in there too when you start experimenting with products so this is another reason why I'm feeling filming today's video today I feel this is a bad hair day <laughs> so um, even though you know I now I just recently colored my hair I just colored it a couple of days ago so my hair before was this um, brown color with like a chestnut color with caramel highlights and the highlights were getting really brassy um, and I just had extensions in my hair about gosh it's probably been almost almost 
it's been a long time, a long, long time. So it's probably been maybe eight months now since I've had those in my hair. Um, and the extensions had those caramel, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And so when I didn't have them anymore, I had just these blotches of highlights, caramel colors in my hair, it just was not blending well. So with it being getting into fall now, I wanted to go back to my natural hair color, which is a pretty dark color. So I just colored it a couple of days ago, and I think that my hair is also just trying to get used to the color as well. Um, but what I did today was I went in with just using a mousse and a gel today, and I've never done that before, and I figured, you know what, I'm working from home today, so why not just experiment in doing something different? So this, again, is going back to experiment with products and see what works for you. So I went in today with one of my favorite um, leave-in conditioners, which is from the Curls line. It's the Blueberry Bliss leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. Um, and then also, or then I went in with the Pantene Curl Defining Mousse. I just bought this the other day. Again, I saw this on Instagram, someone else using it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that product. Super inexpensive. Why not? So I got this from the grocery store. Wanted to give it a try. Um, now, I will say I did use this product last week on another wash day, but I paired it with a defining cream, and that worked much better. So today I wanted to experiment with n using no defining cream at all, and this is what I got. So, I mean, it's not bad. You know, I, it feels soft and fluffy, but I don't have my ringlets. I usually have a little bit more ringlets, and it's kind of hard to see because it's so dark now, but I normally have some more ringlets in here, and I feel it's just more wavy today than it is actually curly. Um, <clears throat> so after this, the leave-in, I went in with the mousse. Then I went in with the Curls Blueberry Bliss um, Curl Control Jelly, which is their, um, their gel. And it smells amazing as well. So this also smells like blueberries. Smells amazing. It leaves a great cast on your hair, and then after you just scrunch it out. Um, so again, another reason why I'm filming this video is because I wanted to show you that I feel today I'm not having a very good hair day, but I'm okay with that. I'm still rocking, you know, my natural curls and I do have to go out later today. Um, I will have to go into work tonight and I'm okay with it. It's still, you know, nice and, and voluminous and, um, and it's fine. So, <clears throat> but it's just not my usual curl pattern that I would prefer. So as you try different products, you're gonna notice some hit and miss, misses um, that will work for you. Some some products work for, some people may not work for others. So that's why it's gonna take a lot of just trial. Now, I will say though, I think one of the tips that, that um, has helped me a lot too because of just trying so many different things is when you do have a great hair day, you need to write down what cocktail you did for the day. So that will help you to refer back when to, or to know like, oh my gosh, I remember I used this cocktail and this defining cream and this gel and it worked great for me. I wanna go back to that. So as you, you know, experiment with so many different comp styling product combinations, um, know what works for you. And again, just remember what works for some people may not work for us or may not work for you. Um, so that's really important as well. Now, if you, I don't want this video to get too long, so I'm gonna try to, um, try to, to cut it short, so, you know, if I can. Um, what I wanted to mention was that if you are not following the curly girl method and you would just simply prefer to just try to take better care of your curls, then I would suggest simply listen to your hair. Feel your hair, feel its texture, look at it in the mirror and just kind of decide what is it lacking? Is it lacking protein? Is it lacking moisture? Um, is there a lot of frizz going on? Um, and then buy your products accordingly. So if you are not worried about the, the sulfates, parabens and silicones and you do wanna use those ingredients, which again, no judgment here, I've used some of those as well and I love how my hair will um, look afterwards. I mean, I, I will admit if I use a product that has some dimethicone in it, which is a uh, silicone, I believe, it um, will, my hair will just look shinier and, and just look healthier. Um, but if you are gonna, if you do kind of want to go between the two worlds and still use those kind of products, then you do want to be sure that you are clarifying your hair with a sulfate-free 
I'm sorry, clarify your hair with sulfates um, in your shampoo so that you can strip out that, those products. Otherwise, what happens is that it will continue to build up and build up and build up, and then your hair will look dull and weighed down, and your curls won't look uh, good. So just make sure every once in a while you are clarifying your hair um, with regular shampoos. So just remember, listen to your hair and see what it needs. Um, if it's, again, it has, if it needs um, more control, like defining, then you'll wanna go with a controlling gel. Like, again, the Curls Blueberry Bliss, one of my favorites. Um, I do recommend, though, that no matter what method you follow, that you do always start with a leave-in conditioner. And it could be, Honestly, any brand, um, you know, try different ones out there. Curls brand I got from Walgreens or CVS. Um, the Diva line, Diva Curl, is another great one as well. The One Decadence um, is a great, great leave-in conditioner as well. Um, as I Am, that's another great one too. I love, love that one. I love how it makes my hair feel. Um, but just listen to your hair and see what it needs as far as other ingredients go. And then know as well, listen to your scalp. So sometimes we can get really itchy scalp. I just found out recently, like literally the wash day before today, I used um, Diva Curls One Decadence. And this was referred to me by a Diva Curl specialist. I had got a, it gotten a um, Diva cut back in August. And so she recommended, of course, all these Diva Curl products and I bought them all. And that was one of the things that she had recommended for me. Um, and every time I use it, I couldn't figure out what it was, but um, I realized that, oh my gosh, I cannot use those shampoos and conditioners, that those particular ones, the decadence one, for me personally. If you use it and it works great for you, I'm happy for you and excited that it works for you. But for me, it did not. I think I'm allergic to the wheat protein that is in it. Uh, which I'm super, super bummed about because I paid a lot of money for those products um, and I can't use them. So, um, yeah, so that just goes to show you that sometimes not a super high-end brand like Diva Curl works for everybody just because it's super popular and it's like the number one, probably number one selling curl, curl line um, may not work for everybody. So unfortunately, it didn't work for me. Their Super Cream, however, their Styling Product Super Cream is one of my absolute favorites. I love that product. I did not use it today, and that's the defining cream. Um, if I, That's what I did use before. So before I did go in with a leave-in conditioner, then I went in with this Diva Curl Super Cream, and then I went in with the Pantene Pro um, Curl defining mousse for the volume, and then I went in actually with Bounce Curl, which is my all-time favorite light cream gel, um, and I, that was one of the best results I had had. So, again, you'll find what works for you. Um, but I just wanted to mention here today that be patient with your hair, be patient um, <clears throat> with trying to find what works for you, just write it down when you do find a great cocktail that works for you, and if you're just starting out, start out with um, you know, just a few products here and there because if you start with like out, out with so many, you're not going to know what worked for you and what, you, what didn't work for you. So try just a few things. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much you guys for tuning in today. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have some tips that can, that can help others, please leave a comment below because I'm sure it can help another curly girl out. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button as well. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.